going to be demonstrating the Synthesizers.com transistor ladder filter. First we have, going into it, we have a sawtooth wave from a Synthesizers.com oscillator. We have it going out to a Synthesizers.com amplifier and is controlled by a Synthesizers.com envelope generator. Um, the transistor ladder filter is great. It has two signal inputs, each of them with level control. Right now, of course, we only have one oscillator going in there. I have it set at five. Um, let's have a listen to what this filter does with the resonance off and just controlling the frequency cutoff point. It has a warmer sound than the synthesizers.com state variable filter, which is quite nice. And here it is with resonance. And more resonance. Too much resonance. And here it is with the resonance in self oscillation. Of course, we can control it with a number of other modules. Here is a low frequency oscillator we're going to put into this side. The frequency cutoff point control is great because it has two level controls, two inputs with different types of level control. We have a straight level control which just increases the amount and then we have a positive and negative level control so that you can put an envelope generator in here and get a positive envelope or a negative envelope or of course any sort of um, control voltage you want to put in there but it seems uniquely suited for the envelope. But let's have a listen to this filter with the frequency cutoff point being controlled by a low frequency oscillator. Um, now let's hear it being controlled by an envelope. And of course, we also can control the filter cutoff point in addition to these two inputs with control voltage from the keyboard, volt per octave input which is the same as the keyboard effect found on most synthesizers where it is darker on the lower end of the synthesizer and brighter on the higher end. Each is, of course, affected by all the other types of modulation. 
to hear the keyboard effect, we should turn the other modulation off. We hear nothing. Hmm. That's because it's too old. Um, we can also run a second oscillator in here if we want and control its level amount. That's with an inverted envelope. think I'd be done, but of course I am not because we also have the slope amount. We've been hearing the negative, the 24 decibels. Now here is the 12. Everything sounds different. This is the 12 decibels per octave slope. And here's the 24 decibels per octave slope. Since a lot of synthesizers from the 70s only had the 12 decibel per octave, um, and all of the Moog transistor filters were 24 decibels per octave, you basically are covering the best of both worlds. Um, it's Basically, you're getting a Moog filter that does 12 decibels per octave, which is the same as like having a Moogrefoger or something. But in any case, you can hear the great functionality provided by the transistor ladder filter. And of course, this is just a tiny demonstration of what it's capable of. Um, the more module modules you have, the more you can do.